All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem El Shai, Bashem Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Melstone as rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole and Saints say, Lek. This is from the Trinidad camp. Just want to do a quick edification for the Lek's sake. And this video is based off of, you know, on the topic of disobedience. All right, disobedience means that, you know, you're not taking heed to orders, not taking heed to rank. Because the Mosai set it up so to have men of different levels from the head all the way down to the least. And when you basically disregard your head, you disregarding Yahweh Shai. You basically, you know, telling Yahweh Shai you don't you don't give a damn about him, all right? Because the man that oh, it have a reason that this this brother, this elder, or it could be the camp leader, it could be an older brother in the camp, it could be the camp leader, it could be an elder, it could be the apostle. It have a reason they came in at the time that they came in over you. All right, and when you buck up against the orders that the men over you give, you bucking up against Yahweh Shai, and you're being disrespectful and disobedient. All right, you're being disrespectful and disobedient because that same brother that you're being disobedient to, Salak, that same brother that you're being disobedient to, guess what? You're actually gonna turn around and tell that brother you love him, but if you love that brother, you would respect that brother. Just like the Mosai, you can't love the Mosai and then say you don't fear the Mosai. Both of them goes hand in hand. So if you love the brother, then you're going to respect the brother. And if an older brother give you an order, a law, and, and it's lawful, guess what? Carry out that order. Don't buck up against it. All right? You know, like sometimes, like, like an incident, you and another brother might be in an argument. And an older brother see what's going on and he say, hey, you two cut it out. And then you might turn around and say, hey, look, it's my mouth. I can say whatever I want. Now nah, you can't do that shit. You can't be doing that shit. There's not a place for that. The scripture said the Lord had called us unto, had not called us unto uncleanness, but holiness. All right? So if you're bucking up against somebody that over you, you're saying that, you know, it's your mouth. You could say whatever you want. You could do whatever you want. Guess what? There's any place for that. It's Romans chapter 1 verse 28. It says, And even as they did not like to retain Yahweh Bashim El Shai in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things that which are not convenient, being full with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of Yahweh, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. And when you're bucking up against the men over you, it's like you're bucking up against your parents. All right? This is what you're doing. And that is why the most I send them onto a reprobate mind because they're disobedient. All right? Now, I want to look up some words. All right? So, for the brothers that like to, you know, think that they're too, they're too big, for somebody to, to, to tell them anything, guess what? Is that that brother rebuke you or the most I rebuke you? And if you're bucking up against the brother, and guess what? You're not in the right spirits. You're not in the right spirits at all. All right? Um... Let me look up. Look up the word debate. I just buried my second. All right, when I look up the word debate, it goes uh, arrest. It means contention, strife, wrangling. All right? So the Lord gave the, because they like to debate. All right, they like to debate with somebody over them. Guess what? You hush your mouth. You, you need to be back talking against somebody over you. Guess what? That's not any right spirits. Now, I want to look up this word wrangling. All right, I want to look up the word wrangling. This is what it says. I said this video is for you, you know, brothers who like to buck up against men that over you in the spirit. Look up the word wrangling means to argue or dispute, especially in a noise, noisy or, or angry manner. 
to argue, to dispute, all right, to tend or round, round up, all right? So, basically, if you, if, if you and a brother get in an argument and another brother, you know, trying to calm that down and you turn around and say, hey, this is my mouth, I can say whatever I want, guess what? You, 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 you basically, you, you going off. And guess what? You're not supposed to have that. The scripture said that the uh, that dies with the unrighteous were doing. They were being wranglers. They were love to argue, love to dispute. All right. The scripture said we're supposed to have one mind. All right. I want to look up. Um, where's the word? Where's the word? Boom, boom, boom. Where is it? Ah, get here. All right. I want to look up the word despiteful. Now, the word despiteful means an insolent man, one who ups, is uplifted with pride, either heaps insulting languages upon others or does, or does some shameful act of wrong. So, he says what? A man that lifted up in pride. So, you proud proud enough to turn around and tell her brother hey this is my mouth you can say whatever i want i can do whatever i want all right that is pride and pride go before destruction you understand pride go before destruction now i want to look up the word insolent we look up the word insolent all right it means what boldly rude or disrespectful i didn't write this the most i did all right so when you're being despiteful as the scripture said, the most I gave over these men to a reprobate mind. When you being um, despiteful, you being boldly rude or disrespectful. Like when they can't please speak to you. Like when the second in command, the third in command, or any brother that over you in the faith speak to you for your good. And you turn around to tell them some disrespectful words. Guess what? You're not in the right spirit. And you're boldly rude and disrespectful. And you're not in the right spirit. And you need to repent from that. You need to repent from that. All right. It says Hebrews chapter 13, verse 17. It says, Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls as they that must give account. Um that they may with that they may do it with joy and not with grief. For that is unprofitable unto you. Alright? Because the men are set up over you. They're watching for your souls. Alright? So you can't be, you know, you can't be trying to give these men a hard time. You know, the, the brothers over you talking. And, you know, you you thinking that you on the same level with them. So that you could buck up. You could say whatever you want. You could do whatever you want. Nah, this ain't the place. Furthermore, this thing ain't about age. So forget your age. Forget that you older than this brother or you and this brother the same age. Forget age. This is all about the spirit. And you thinking about age, guess what? You've been very carnal. Alright? You've been very carnal. Alright? You can't be bucking up against the men that the most size set up over you. The final precept here says, Romans 13 and 1, it says, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but Yahweh. The powers that be are ordained of Yahweh. Alright? The powers that be are ordained of the Mosai. So when you're resisting the men that set up over you, guess what? You're resisting the Mosai. It says, Whoso therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of Yahweh, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. So when you're resisting the men that have been set up over you through the Spirit, whether it be something, you know, like, a hey, stop arguing or you know keep the keep the the, the holy post you know wherever it wherever it is once it's something not lawful and this brother commands you guess what you do it all right don't be bucking up against the brothers that over you that ain't in the right spirits and nothing in your right spirits either all right so with that i want to give our praises honor and glory to yahweh bashim yashai bashim rakha kodash 
I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy on a true well. Salutations to the men of the whole plan saying select. This mark is our saying shalom.